What's up guys? Welcome to another workout. Today we are going to do another set of inner thighs. Um, it's going to be a little faster and more concentrated, so I'm going to call it like express inner thighs. But naturally, <laughs> I have a treat so that it will stay here. Sneaky. Leave it. Leave it. Um, we're going to sneak in some cardio beforehand. Today we are doing a very simple cardio set. It's three movements in a CrossFit style EMOM. And EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So you'll do um, three different moves, 15, 10, five. Um, we'll do nine rounds of that. I actually meant to do eight, but I ended up doing nine. So nine sets of that, and then we'll come down and just hit those inner thighs and hit them fast. Mine are screaming. Like you can't hear them right now, but they're screaming. They are screaming. So look forward to that. I'm gonna try to hit that every week so that we get a nice solid inner thigh day going on because who doesn't love the inner thighs, right? Mark, do you love your inner thighs? Can you shake? Yes. Can I have that hand? Oh, good. I'm gonna show off all your tricks. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go. I'll put the timestamp here if you want to skip the cardio, but don't skip the cardio unless you have to. If you're injured, skip the cardio. We'll go right away to our inner thigh work, but otherwise, Let's go, let's work it out. All right guys, so our three movements for our EMOM set. EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So our three moves will be, first move is jumping squats. So we're gonna warm this up. Just take some normal air squats with me. Let's take about 10 or 15 to loosen up your joints. This is if you didn't already do something for the day. Sometimes I like to sneak in a little workout like this after doing Aerial or maybe before maybe you're using this as a warm-up for something else. Maybe you went for a jog first Yeah Any runners up in here? All right, so let's stay low just kind of sink in your squat if you can open your knees a little more Press your hips down a little bit. Maybe stretch open into those legs. We're just warming up a little bit here Okay, let's take five jump squats only so come back up one two three, four, five. Okay, so that's our first movement. We're gonna do 15 of those, and then we're gonna do 10 side to side up and over jumps. Okay, so this is just a little up and over. This other foot can touch if you need the balance, or you can try to keep it floating. I'm doing opposite arms and legs. I hope you're doing this with me and not just watching. Okay, so we're using this as our warm up. We'll do 10 side to side, and then we do five little hot backs. Okay, so nice and long. We'll do just do a little, it's like the bottom half of a burpee. So we go in and out. Try to keep your posture really long every time. Let's do five for our warm up, right? Three, and back, two, and one. I'm already tired. Oh. All right, so the way this is gonna go, I'm gonna set the clock for eight minutes. Every time I see the start of a new minute, you have to start over. Okay, so that means 15 jump squats, and I'll put this in the description box too. 15 jump squats, 10 side to side. So one, two, you're counting each one. And then five of your little jump backs. So the first one doesn't count. Out, so every time you jump in, one, two, three, four, five. So your goal is to whiz through that so you have a bunch of time in your minute to hang out and catch your breath. This is just a nice warm up for your toning section. I'm gonna start my clock so that we can keep an eye on everything. You guys ready? We're gonna go in three, two, one, search. All right, 15 jump squats. I want you to really spring through your legs. Oh, great. Now I'm not going to be able to count if I talk at the same time. I have no idea how many I've done. Do 15. I'll do four more. All right, so that's 15. 10 side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll go back. One, two, Four, five. Okay, and rest. 
Dang it, my clock is not gonna stay open. Woo! All right, we've got 10 more seconds left in your rest. I gotta set this up better. Five, four, three, two, one, new minute. All right, 15 jump squats, I'm gonna count this time. One, two, six,
Just let your legs burn. Do you like my knee on pants, by the way? These were in my bag to give to Goodwill. <sighs> but then I thought they showed up on video well, so. Oh my gosh, four, three, two, one. resistance you're pressing up against that pillow now ideally you would have like a little playground ball or you know those little round exercise balls that are kind of squishy that's what ideally you would use here we use that and do this set sometimes in our bar classes 
really effective to find that extra squeeze. So we start to pulse lift and lift. We're just doing it for about a century. We're gonna do, again, some similar themes and some similar uh, variations to what we did in that first video. We're gonna tack a few new ideas on. And the idea is to add an element of resistance. So that's why your pillow or your ball or something is up in there. Take it up, up, squeeze, squeeze. Little lift, lift. You can keep your foot pointed or flexed. It's totally up to your personal preference. Before we did that flex, but you could really keep your heel high. Maybe this time try to keep your toe pointed just for something new. Lift and hold, hold. So as you're doing that, make sure your navel is sucking into your spine. You're not kind of sloppy here. You're really pulled in. Little pulse, little pulse. Woo! I'm feeling it. All right, this time triplets up to the top and tub instead of two counts. Two, three, and down. I said up to the stop, huh? Up to the top and down. Take it up. Two, three, and down. Two more slow. Really extend and down. Cross a squeeze in that pillow or ball, something in there. A little faster. Up, up, up. Cross, cross, cross. Oh, I'm starting to feel the burn, but I'm acting calm. Oh, lift, lift, lift. We love to shake those inner thighs. Yes, we do. Back to your little pulse up and up. So now that you've been working with a pointed foot, flex your foot. It's going to be a reminder that maybe you were staying a little too close to the floor. Press and press and press. We just repeat that whole thing again with your up, up. Take it up, up. Ah, lift, lift. Try to maintain your squeeze. Squeeze. Push into that. Okay, if you thought you should do this without a pillow, just grab it. Even like a normal pillow that you sleep on, a bedtime pillow, roll it up, put it in there. All right, lift and hold and release. Lift, hold. Really get it up there. Up. I'm starting to shake. Back to your little pulse for eight, seven. Flex that foot. Externally rotate through the hip socket. Hips are nice and stacked up slow. Three, one, two, three. Ah! Take it up, two, three, and hold. I'm starting to be able to hardly lift my leg. Two, three, and hold. I'm trying. Take it up, two, just try. That's what matters, a little faster. Up, two, three, and press, press, press. Maybe it's effective at this point to hold on to your bottom leg or your top leg, I should say, for a little more support. Keep it going, don't rest, okay? We're trying to keep that time under tension in that muscle, we're back to our pulse. Just lift and lift. Oh, my inner thigh is like broken now, in a good way. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now last little bit, point your toe. Circle, up, back, and around. Up, back, and around. Squeeze into the pillow or the ball. A little faster, up and around, up and around. You should be able to use your glute a little bit on that bottom side, your left leg. Reverse, slow. Take it forward and around. Forward and around. Really scoop. Make sure your bottom knee is super straight, your toe is pointed. Keep it a little faster. Up and forward, up and forward. Don't turn that leg in. Up and forward, up and forward. All right, little grand finale here. So we have eight pulses, seven, six. You're gathering your energy. You're gonna flex your foot again. Double time you have 32. Up, 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 up. Woo! All right, we're halfway there. That was 16. Stretch your leg, lift a little higher. Press, 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 press. Here's eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Keep it going. So take your pillow or your ball again. I'm gonna fold, I just, mine's long. So do you like how it matches the wall, by the way? Did that on purpose. Hold that pillow up and place it right above your knees in your inner thighs. Okay, this is where a ball really works well. But we're working with what we got. So flatten everything in and down, flatten your lumbar spine and squeeze in, squeeze and squeeze. Holy heck, my, my right thigh, so it's gonna be your left inner thigh is hella on fire. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, just stay with this tempo, just don't stop moving. Don't release, don't relax, okay? You wanna keep that muscle fiery and burning. I notice that when I use my inner thighs, either my lower back takes over and I tend to arch, or I can use my low abs. So I don't want you to arch, so think about flattening. You can lift your pelvic floor here. 
Only you know how to do that. So squeeze everything, lift it up, double time. In, 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 in. Navel, everything is pulling in and down. Woo! Squeeze and hold. Squeeze. Little open, squeeze. Little open, squeeze. So I'm really trying to hold that squeeze. When I'm opening, I'm barely releasing my muscles. Just a little tiny. And squeeze. Good. Now just keep the hold for seven more counts. Six, five. I'm constantly squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. All right, back to your little pulse. Just in and in. So I don't want to see your knees going in, out, in, out. Just squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so really small, keeping your tension in. Keep that tempo, start to lift your tailbone up and you're bridging just like an inch. One squeeze and then one little tuck through your hips. Squeeze, a little bit of bridge. So we're gonna start to initiate a little bit of the hamstrings in here, the, the upper and inner hamstrings. Again, your hamstrings like your quadriceps have three different sections to them. So we're going after that inner section, really a nice synergist to the inner thighs. Woo! All right, keep it going. Yeah, three more sets with your little squeeze, little tuck, little squeeze, little up. All right, keep your hips up, just squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. My legs are like shaking, I don't know if you can see it. Squeeze and hold. Four more, do not come down. Do not stop trying. Even though it looks like we're not doing much, I know you feel this. Double time, little squeeze, 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 squeeze. Abs are in super tight. Woo, maybe lift your hips a little higher. 16 more counts, and we're going to do our other side for our inner thigh. If we could even lift that leg, here's eight. Woo! Three, two, one, and you're done. Oh. Open your legs a little bit. Take a little stretch. Okay, quick though. This is express. Or the idea is express. So flip it around. Take your pillow or your ball or whatever. Make it as compact as you can. Your whisper gets a little weird. Okay, Woo. all the way up. Cross your top leg and come all the way down. All right, leg is long. We just start a little lift. Lift and lower. Little lift and lower. Little lift. I feel like my pillow could be a little tighter. Keep going. Don't mind me. It's probably not the best thing to do on camera, but it's okay. I need you to get that inner, inner thigh squeeze, okay? Lift, lower. That's better. A little more resistance. Take it a little faster. So remember this side to initiate or to start. We have a long pointed foot. Lift and lift. Eight more, really pressing into that pillow. Press, press. Abs are in nice and tight. Up, up with our hold. Lift, lift. So after that second count, go up, up, freeze. Yeah, I don't want to see any muscles move. Up, up, if I could see right now. Hey girl, or boy. <laughs> I just say girl a lot, I've realized. So I'm trying to work on that in my speech. Up, up. All right, back to our little pulses. Little lift, little lift, little lift. Woo! All right, little slow triplet up to the top. Here's one, two, three, and hold. Sidebar, it's not until you start making videos that you notice what sort of weird things you say in your speech. I say K, you know, and all right, a lot, a little faster. Up, one, two, three. Just interesting, trying to catch those things. Now in my day-to-day -day speech. Oh, I'm starting to get the inner thigh burn. It's real. We're relaxed. All right, back to our lift and pulse right here. Just lift and lift. After a tight, remind yourself to breathe. Don't stop moving no matter what. We start from the beginning. So here's eight, seven. Let's flex this round. Oh, just to make sure you're lifting your leg high enough. Up, up with your hold. Go lift, lift, hold. Lift, lift, hold. Lift, lift, hold. Try not to arch your back in this position. Pull everything in. Just pulse and pulse. All right, little triplet. It's slow, remember? Up, two, three, and hold. Lower down. Go up, two, and hold. Oh my God, off my music. I don't know if you can even hear that in the background. I need music. Ooh, a little faster. Up, two, three. I literally cannot lift my leg anymore. I'm telling you not to rest and I had to right there. My thigh was gonna just fall off the bone. Lift, lift, lift. Up, up, up. Woo! Little pulse, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Sorry for all the yelling and the shrieking. Woo, ah! It's just all I can do to get through it. All right, double time. Lift, 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 lift. 
Remember we have 32 to finish this set off. So you got 16, 16, 15, 14. Lengthen your leg, eight more, and we finish with our little circles. Four, three, two, point your foot. Up, around, and back. Holy cow, woo! Up, around, and back. Up, around, and back, a little faster. Up, around, up, around, up, around. This is harder than I thought it would be. Woo! All right, reverse, four slow. Take it up and forward. Okay, if you're actually doing these videos, I want you to like take a picture of yourself doing it a little faster, up and around, or just comment below. It makes me so happy when I know someone's actually done it. All right, little lift here. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, we're done. We'll do that inner thigh squeeze again, but a little different. The last one and release. Okay, so this time, just to finish off our inner thighs, you're still gonna take that darn pillow or ball or whatever you're working with in between your knees here. We're gonna hang out in a plank position. If you don't have good wrists and you don't like to plank, never fear. So normally, shoulders over the wrists, right? For this set, I want you to bend your knees, hollow out your abs, and you're gonna push your weight a little bit behind. So I'm really in the heel of my hand here, which is kind of nice. I meant to flip my hair that way. Kind of nice to relieve some pressure on the wrists. So make sure we're not doing this. I mean, it's cute, but tuck it under. Okay, so from here, we start to squeeze our knees in on the pillow. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I'm trying to get you to kind of connect your inner thighs to your low abs and your pelvic floor. There are muscle groups that work really well together. If you can't find enough squeeze, walk your feet in a little closer towards one another. Don't let that back arch really hollow in. Press your weight a little bit more into your feet and hover those shins above the ground. Squeeze, squeeze, and hold. So same set goes in, in. Squeeze, squeeze. Make sure we're not doing this with our shoulders either. Press, so I think about protracting my shoulders. Are you still squeezing? Squeeze, squeeze. Retract, protract, right? All right, just several times, squeeze it. Tighten, in, 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 in. So you're simultaneously getting a lot of good core work here, some shoulder stability, some shoulder stability, if I could talk. Woo! All right, eight count isometric squeeze. You're gonna hold down on the muscle. Squeeze as hard as you can. You're shaking. Squeeze harder, harder, harder. All right, eight, up to tempo and we're done. Eight, squeeze, seven, as hard as you can. Squeeze those inner thighs, tight your abs, hollow it out. Three, two, one, and you're done. Woo! Set your knees down, tuck that pillow to the side. Let's take a quick stretch. One leg out, <clears throat> take a little side bend, just to breathe. Then take a little lean forward. So it's important that you don't just fall and let that other foot turn in. So that's why I'm holding it open here. Press forward, <clears throat> we'll take both legs in a second. Switch, other side, come here buddy, and stretch. Hi, honey. Hi. What do you do? Do you go outside? Oh, I feel this side a lot more. And then lean down, pressing your knee open. What's going on in the backyard, huh? Yeah, interesting. That concludes our video for today. I hope you had so much fun. Your inner thighs feel so nice. And stay tuned for the next one. Bye.